excited because our wire EDM just became a lot more capable. You might notice we've got all these attachments on the upper head of our EDM, but what are they and what are they used for? That's what I'm going to show you today. Let's get into it. So the first new feature on our EDM is this little guy right here. And if you've ever ran a mill before with probing, you probably recognize what this is. It's a retractable Renishaw probe, and this is what we're gonna use to pick up our workpiece. The challenge with using a probe to pick up our workpiece is we need to know where the probe is in relation to the center of our wire. To do that, we're gonna use this standard that Sodic provided us, and we're gonna first pick up the center of the hole with our wire, and then we're gonna cut the wire, come in with the probe, and probe the center of the hole, and that's gonna load an offset into our control that tells us exactly where our wire is in relation to our probe. Before we had our probe, we had to use the wire, which meant the features we picked up on had to go all the way through our part. But now that we have our probe, it's gonna allow us to pick up on blind features like holes or pockets, or walls that don't go all the way through our part. We can also use it as a measuring device, and we can even do 3D pickups on the top surface of our part. Let's say you had a datum on the top surface, and you wanted to make sure your pocket was wired perfectly perpendicular with that surface. We can pick up on that top surface with our probe, orientate our UV to where it burns the pocket perfectly perpendicular with that surface. You also might be caught in a situation where your fixture doesn't allow you to pick up on features you want to with the wire. In that case, the probe would be really beneficial. So as you can see, having the probe gives us a lot of versatility on our AL600P that we didn't have before. The next new feature on our AL600P is this guy right here. Now this is an automatic slug puller. If you've ever ran a wire EDM before, you know manually pulling the slugs after the rough cut can really slow things down and keep you from running fully unattended. The way this works is after our machine roughs out our pocket, this is gonna come down, activate a magnet that attaches to our slug, and then it's gonna retract, move over, and drop the slug in a bin, all completely unattended. So now that we're set up, let's go ahead and get to machining. guys how I activate the slug puller in our program. First thing we need to do is we need to come down here and we need to make sure that this S3 core CG code output is set to on. After that we're going to go to wire cut defs and we're going to select die. Now right here is where we activate our slug puller. Right here where it says coreless machining we want to set this to auto cutoff. After that we fill out the rest of our parameters to whatever we need and we're going to go into our condition search. Now here we want to use our S3 core conditions. We're going to select 10 thousandths wire. We're using brass wire. Our workpiece is steel and it's 1.57 inches thick. We're going to go to die, S3 core nozzle position, and then we're running three pass technology for this program. So we're going to select that, hit OK. Now all we need to do is select our pockets. So we select our pocket, select our thread point, select our entry position and we're going to do that for each one of our pockets. Now at this point our program is done. Activating our slug puller is that easy. Slug pull and that's it. It generates all the NC code that we need. If you notice we're going to come into our program and at the bottom of each rough pass we have this CGX0, CGY0 command, and that's gonna trigger a program to run in the background that activates our slug puller at the end of each rough pass. 
So our program will go in, it'll rough each pocket and pull the slug, and then it's gonna come in, thread the wire, and finish each pocket, all without us having to touch anything. So as you guys can see, these new features add a lot of versatility to our AL600P. From being able to pick up on features that were impossible before with our retractable probe, to being able to automatically pull our slugs after a rough cut so we don't have to be there to do it ourselves, these things are an absolute game changer. Shout out to Sodic for doing a field install on these options for us. If you're interested in Sodic machines, go to titansofcnc.com, fill out the form and we'll get all your questions answered. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.